A Vietnam veteran in Washington to see the war memorial said afterwards, we all hurt and over there it was something else. Watching hundreds of veterans and their family members walk by the memorial yesterday was something else. They share an incredible bond with the names on the wall and for many, their struggle with the war continues today. Reminds you of people, of people you haven't seen or thought in a long time. There are more than 58,000 names etched in stone at the Vietnam War Memorial. The people visiting walk slowly, silently, looking for a loved one, a friend, a comrade. How do you feel right now? Sad. It is kind of choking up. It's uh, an amazing tribute. A tribute that some vets say is finally coming to those who died and those who survived. Basically, it started when we came home, you know, it was mistreated, called baby killers and different things like that. And, you know, finally people are coming around and really appreciating what we did. So you guys, God bless you guys. God bless you. Thank you. Do you see the heartache, though, and a little sadness in him? Yeah. How hard is that for you? That's hard. Yeah. And just seeing all these names. Yeah. It's very moving. Alan Trauger's struggles continue. He and other Vietnam vets suffer from the effects of Agent Orange, a herbicide used in Vietnam, millions of gallons sprayed on trees and vegetation. Like they say, we brought the silent death back with us. So Vietnam's going to get us eventually. Whatever they're battling, the vets agree that despite any sadness, a trip to the wall can provide some relief, a chance to either close a door and move on, or open a door and release pressure that they've been carrying for a long time. The people that I spoke with were, for the most part, recent honor flight of North Dakota and Minnesota veterans. We took off Sunday night, saw little, literally as much as we could before returning last night. Honor flight first took off in 2005, and since then, nearly 200,000 surface men and women have been flown to D.C. from any one of more than 140 hubs in 47 states, including one right here in Fargo. It's a good flight for them, too, to get them there. Amazing trip. Yeah.